Hi, welcome back after a longer break. In this episode I'm gonna mainly paint the hull, which should seem like a simple task, but it wasn't at all. Besides, before I'm gonna start I need to prepare it properly. As I mentioned in the previous episode, there was a gap between the two parts of hull. I used the Tamiya putty for this, filling it and leaving it to dry properly. Then I started preparing small hull elements such as fair leaders and bollards. I cut them out of spruce, thoroughly cleaned and proceeded to paste. First add the aft part on hilo deck. I've also installed a ship winch And after assembling the elements, I switched to the bow of the ship. In addition to fair leaders and bollards, I also placed the winch and the base of the bow mast. So prepared landing and bow deck I had to mask. I mainly used Tamiya masking tape for this, especially in places of contact with other elements and on the edge of the surface to be masked. I covered the other larger areas with ordinary paper tape. After masking, I started grinding and leveling the previously filled with a putty gap on the side of freedom. Grinding at this point wasn't easy, as I didn't want to grind the elements on the hull. Before painting, I decided to paste the so-called wings at the bridge level. I pasted the cameras. and then mounted them on the hull. These wings stick out beyond the hull contour, allowing the watch officer or the ship's commander to have better observing position, uh, for example during maneuvers.
Then I've marked the open deck on the side and in the stern part of the ship as well as the open space on the stern where the boat's ramp was located. I started painting with a primer, diluted Mr. Finishing Surfacer 1500 in grey with Mr. Leveling Thinner in about 1 to 4 ratio, I painted the whole model. The compressor pressure is about uh, 20 psi. Definitely for grey plastic I would recommend rather white or black primer. I had grey so I had to focus on painting much more because the color was very similar. After the primer dried, I've made small correction uh, with a file and put the primer layer again. All decks except the landing deck I decided to paint with neutral grey, the same color as the bow deck. After painting two layers and drying the paint, I took care of masking these surfaces. I decided to try to paint the USS Freedom in the camouflage it had during its mission in Asia in 2013. Painting was very interesting and rare, especially nowadays. I must admit that I like this camouflage very much. In addition, my wife said that grey ship will look like a can, so what could I do? I decided that I would start painting from white to darker and darker, ending with black. White paint I had to make a bit darker so I mixed it with grey paint number 308 in a 9 to 1 ratio and diluted with the leveling thinner in 1 to 3 ratio. After painting and drying the white paint, I switched to masking. I tried to recreate the camouflage look using Patafix, thanks to which I could get nice curved lines.
After masking I painted another color, this time light grey number 307. As you can see, I covered the airbrush cap with foil. If you're wondering why, I suggest to look at the upper left corner of the screen. Yep, unfortunately such situations happen sometimes, but we need to deal with it. And learn a lesson. First of all, I had too much paint in the cup and started to make faster movements. You could see the effect. In this case, I just had to collect the paint, wait for the model to dry well, thoroughly grind and paint again. I'm also curious if the paint didn't go somewhere on the mask deck, but we will find about it in the future. Let's go back to painting. As you can see I masked and painted the next elements of camouflage with paint 307. Then, after masking, I painted the ship's elements with a different shade of grey, number 306. Unfortunately, after removing the masking I immediately noticed that both grey colors are almost identical and this should not be the case. During color selection I suggested on a scheme found on the internet in which the colors of paint were indicated. As you can see they were unfortunately not perfect. I have nothing left but to re-prepare the previously painted pattern to change the color. This time I brightened the paint 307 with white in a 1 to 1 ratio and repaint the hull. As you can see even such a mistake can be fixed. Of course it costs a lot of time, some nerves and extra work, but remember that modeling is not racing and every mistake made is a good lesson for the future. I had to make one more fix uh, because a drop of thinner drip on the model. I carefully leveled the surfaces and paint a fresh layer of paint. Then I could move on to the next color, dark grey paint number 32.
this time it was without surprises. After placing two layers I removed the masking and our LCS has already started to take on character. Finally, black hull elements, cleverly applied in exhaust areas where in the original grey painting scheme black streaks appeared. I wonder what you think about my camouflage, but to be honest I think I've mapped it quite accurately and I'm very happy with the hard work I've done. I decided to go a step further. As you can see the hull is made of sheet metal. This sheet outline is visible to the naked eye. Oil canning or tin canning, because such names I found, is the result of such a small deformation of the sheet metal which is caused by uneven stress of the material. It may be more or less visible depending on the sun's rays. So I decided to try to do such an effect. Using heavily diluted white paint, I gently marked the horizontal lines of the sheets in the lower parts where more sun would make these parts brighter, helping myself with masking tape. Then I made vertical lines, as a template using a small sticky note. If the hull was painted only in grey, the painting would be simpler, because the oil canning effect would be achieved by painting the sheet lines uh, with a slightly lightened base color. The same applies to the lower part of the hull, which is usually painted red. The sheet metal lines must be applied in a slightly lighter red color. In my case, applying a line is not the end of the fun. While the effect looks not that bad on lighter colors, the darker camouflage will definitely need to be tweaked. As you can see, painting a ship can be a challenge. It takes a long time to dry the paint, mask some areas, paint the element and repeat it many times. Add to this the unforeseen mistakes or painting corrections, as well as other duties such as work or family responsibilities, and unfortunately three weeks fly and I barely put on the model a few spots of paint. Even though I would like to speed it up, sometimes I just can't. Personally, I think it's better to wait and do something neat. I hope you prefer to watch a well-assembled and concrete video than a fast-made material of poor quality that brings nothing. Please share your opinion in the comments. Meanwhile, hold on and until next time, bye.